Dr. James Barry was born circa 1795 in Ireland to Jeremiah and Marianne Bulkley. As a teenager, Barry was educated to become a tutor but struggled to find a position. He made a lot of close friends who were liberal minded and they encouraged him to go to medical school. Barry attended Edinburgh Medical School where he graduated with a degree. Then he became a military sergeant and fought in the British Army. He served in Cape Town, South Africa and many parts of the British Empire. He was one of the first ever doctors to practice proper hygiene and improved care for soldiers and natives in the places that he travelled to. He performed the first caesarean section and both the mother and the child survived. Also, like all the best people, he was an animal lover. He was a vegetarian and owned a small poodle called Psyche who he adored. Thank you for joining me in this interview. Um, how are Please. you both? I'm doing good, thank you. <laughs> I'm great. Um, so, do either of you guys have any idea about who Dr. James Barry was? So, have you ever heard of a person called Dr. James Barry? Yeah, I think so. That's the guy that did the first C-section, right? Yeah, um, he was born in the 1700s. He was the first ever successful C-section. He was an Irish doctor and he really improved like hygiene and medical standards. One thing that historians love to forget about Dr. James Barry is his transgender identity. Obviously he wouldn't call himself that at the time because the word transgender wasn't coined until the mid-1960s, but he was what today we would describe a transgender man. So, because you don't know who he was, I'm guessing you didn't know that he was a transgender man either. No. Mm, actually, I, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> I heard prior you, to this interview right now when him, I read yeah. the script. Yeah, because um, <laughs> you talk about him being like a, a big influence, I, I suppose. Yeah, you know, but so. like, you wouldn't have knew that if it no, wasn't for me. Not at all, no. no. I did not know. Did you also know that he was a trans guy? No, I didn't actually. It's, it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Barry is often considered a woman who pretended to be a man for work. This is because transgender people are often considered as a modern phenomenon. Although the word transgender is fairly new and trans people are only just starting to get attention in media and society and politics and all that, um, transgender people have existed for a while. The first records of people born one sex but acting as the opposite sex in society have been around since 2000 BC. So when do you think the first ever records of transgender people existing were? Um, I mean, I know as far back as the Vikings were very like gender fluid, so... Good one. I'm so uneducated. I, I kind of thought it was. A, I mean, I suppose because like our generation is like more free to express themselves. I, I feel like it's been more kind of known now, more than ever. I mean, it's known sense. now. I'd assume since like humanity started, very far back would probably be there. Yeah. See, yeah, right. if, if you were uneducated and, and came from a real kind of okay. narrow-minded background, I suppose you wouldn't you wouldn't know that it came all the way from. Back to when, it, when humanity like started. No, no. <laughs> I'm kind of just justifying the fact that I'm an educator. Exactly, yeah. It's yeah. Like 2000 BC. Yeah, so that's... pretty much the, the first ever civilizations that there were trans people. I wouldn't know, to be honest. It's not. It's just something that's come up in the media recently, like quite a lot. But like, there's got to be like trans people from ages ago. Anyway, back to Dr. James Barry. He was a silent female at birth and given the name Margaret Ann Bulkley. He wrote from a very young age about his desire to be male. When he was 19, he wrote, Was I not 
at go. I want be a He started going by the name James sometime before starting medical school and he lived and presented as male both in public and private throughout his life. He wore platform shoes to make himself appear taller and padded his clothes with towels to make himself appear broader. He had a reputation for being short-tempered. He would often verbally or physically fight people who would mention his height or his high-pitched voice and he even killed someone in a duel once. He was in a romantic and sexual relationship with Lord Charles Somerset. Yes, not only was he trans, but he was also attracted to men. Truly proof that queer people have existed all throughout history in many shapes and forms. Harry and Somerset were caught together and this led to a court trial as at the time homosexuality was extremely illegal. Somerset would have been aware of Barry's birth sex but didn't reveal it even though this would have made their relationship legal. Barry had probably explained to Somerset how important keeping his male identity was and seeing Barry as the man that he is and respecting him, Somerset decided to keep this a secret and risked his life and being imprisoned for his lover. By the time of his death in 1865, Barry had insisted that in the event of his death, strict precautions should be adapted to prevent any examination of his body, and that his body should be buried in the bedsheets without further inspection. He clearly wanted to be remembered as a man. Despite his wishes, when he passed away, his body was examined and his birth sex was revealed. This was met with scandal. Since then, many people have wrote about him and more recently made documentaries on him. Sadly, it is hard to find any media that doesn't aggressively misgender him. While researching Dr. Barry, it was hard to find an article on him that wasn't titled something along the lines of the woman who tricked everyone into believing she was a male doctor. Only Dr. Barry, but pretty much every trans person throughout history, is documented in some sort of way that discredits not only their gender identity, but also their work in their respective fields. Referring to Barry as a woman who tricked and lied his way into medical school and then into the operating room is not only extremely disrespectful to James Barry, but also to trans people as a whole. It perpetuates the misconception that trans people are not actually the gender that we say we are and we are just lying about it for our own personal gain. And that is simply false. Some say it doesn't matter if Barry was a trans man or not and it's okay that virtually every book or piece of media around her misgenders him. It is incredibly important that we remember transgender people throughout history and don't erase their identities and say it doesn't matter because it does. Growing up as a young trans person is extremely hard, but it could be a little easier if we could open a history book and put on the TV and see that there have always been people like us and they have done amazing things. Many school curriculums will simply gloss over historical figures' identities simply because they don't think it really matters or as an act of violence against LGBTQ plus people in an attempt to erase their achievements. Do you think you could name any LGBTQ plus people from history? Maybe any that you learn about at school? No, not, we didn't really learn about any figures in the LGBTQ community though at school. It, it's sad really because there's got such a rich history and I know it's there but you just never learn about it. So, are there any LGBTQ plus people that you know from history? Maybe any that you learn William about Shakespeare. at school? <laughs> <laughs> William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Can I not say that? <laughs> you, no, 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 I can't. Do you want me to do that question yeah. again? Loki the Norse god. Yeah, Jennifer the go. icon. Absolute beast. Um, yeah, and any of us? Um, apart from William Shakespeare. Do you know what um, Shakespeare was? What, what his sexuality was? No. Well, he, he was bi. I, that, it, that explains um, he had the monologue wife, that I did because it was. Dark uh, vow lovest the men and the women. There was not a contradictory word. In, in his, you know, Shakespeare. In his, in his, yeah. Yeah, it was always talking about like a two and yeah. contradicting, which yeah. is very. But he's he's but known for that. Yeah. I've got a little list of really cool LGBTQ plus people awesome. from history. If you want to hear it, I do. Um, the fifteenth president of the US, James Buchanan. Was Don't a gay know that man. person to begin with, but thank you. It, he had like a life partner who was male. <laughs> Uh, the person who kick-started the gay rights movement in 1979 was a trans woman of colour called Marsha P. Johnson. Okay. Um, there's a documentary about her on Netflix right now, you should probably look at it. She, she was really cool. Um, the famous author, Virginia Woolf, you might have heard of her if you yeah. studied English. Is that not a state of her? <laughs> <laughs> she was an openly bisexual woman, <laughs> he was an author. Yeah. 
Um, like yeah, like we mentioned before, um, William Shakespeare was a bisexual and had That's relationships cool. with men. Alexander the Great, you probably know who yeah, he was. Yeah. was in, it was in a lifelong relationship with one of his male bodyguards. It was, yeah. Um, yeah, you, you were there. <laughs> 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 you were the potter. That's the history I remember. Leonardo da Vinci? Yeah. You know him? Yeah. Um, he wrote about loving men and obviously all of his art was romanticizing and sexualizing the male body. Just if people, and there's, there's loads more, like if you, you can just, just like, you know, it's definitely something worth looking into. Okay, I think we're done. Alright, we're good. Peace. <laughs> oh, thank, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> We're done with the interview now. That's uh, all. That's all I have to ask you. Thank you very much for participating. Would thank you like you. to shake hands? Yes. Uh-huh. Awesome. Oh, that was a pretty good time. That was a firm handshake. Thank you. I do not have one. Bye. 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 <laughs>